What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. If you want to focus in on Daniel Alfredson and leaving the Ottawa Senators after an almost two decade run in, uh, in Canada's capital and what it means for him and the Detroit Red Wings and Ottawa, for that matter, going forward. Um, you know, there was a $3.5 million base salary, $1.5 million incentives, I believe, in the one year deal. Um, you know, I just think it was time for him to leave Auto, which is weird considering they've been a team on the rise. They made the playoffs the last two years and won a series this year. Um, you know, they seem to be going the right way, but, you know, I think maybe he wanted to give the reins to Spets under his being the captain. I don't know. You know, I really can't speak objective. I can't speak for sure on any of that because, you know, none of us have spoken to Daniel Offertson, but I think, I don't say he made the right pick going to Detroit because, you know, he said no to my Bruins to get there, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of a tough deal watching, uh, guy like that say no to the Bruins, but, you know, they, a lot of Swedes in Detroit, obviously, Nick Lidstrom had an okay career there, uh, and I'm sure he, the, the Red Wings had him make a call, the, the former, uh, you know, Red Wing great, one of the greatest players of all time, but, uh, you know, I think he's going to fit right in, I think, you know, he plays Wings hockey, he's a reliable defensive player, uh, he has leadership, has some tangibles, has the things going for him, it's going to be a weird team in another jersey next year, much like uh, Benny LeCabli, yeah, that piece is coming up, by the way. Been out of town for a little bit, but, um, you know, it's going to be weird. You know, the, the former Ottawa captain went to the finals with him. You know, it was at the cash line with uh, him, Spezza, and uh, and Heatley once upon a time. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a weird experience for him. Um, you know, the NHL schedule hasn't come out yet, so we don't know if he'll be going back to Ottawa next year, but I would assume um, the hockey gods will make that happen for him. I think maybe that's probably the reason why I play with the Bruins, is we'd have to go back to Ottawa four times and, you know, really. How's, how's the crowd going to respond to him? I would hope, you know, that they share for him. He's a former captain. Um, you know, maybe it's just time to move on for him, I think. You know, that's... The, give a younger guy a look on a top six for all the... Albertson can still play and still play at a high level. Um, you know, it's, it's it's tough. I mean, even though it's not on your team, it's weird seeing a guy you're so used to, to watch play in one organization go somewhere else. Um, but, you know, it's all right. You know, he's a professional. I think he'll bring the same work ethic he brought to the Ottawa Senators to Detroit. And I think, you know, he'll push the younger guys in Detroit. Obviously, there's going to be some young guys push for spots in Detroit, too. I mean, they just won the Grand Rapids, just won the Calder Cup. And I'm sure a lot of those guys are going to be hungry for NHL duty. And Albertson will push them to be the best they can be. And I still think he's a valuable weapon on the power play. And I think he'll, you know, he'll help out there. And I think he would have helped out with any team he signed. Honestly, he's that good of a player. But, um, you know, it's, like I said, it's going to be weird watching him in another uniform, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's on this episode of the Power Play with CJ on Alfredson leaving the Ottawa Senators for the Detroit Red Wings. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.